Hello, my beautiful Taurus friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel. This is a reading for Taurus. It's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is what your love interests, thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions may be. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, player energy, Knight of Wands. Don Juan has a Knight of Wands. Okay, so we have the energy is that your person feels as though they need a time out. They need some rest, recuperation. They're looking at things from a different perspective. So we have Libra energy about partnership and the Hermit, which is Virgo. Your person is feeling dissatisfied in the relationship, Taurus. They are feeling bored. They're feeling as though there's not a lot of emotion that's being given. In the recent past, we see the three of coins. Things were working better. It looks as though you were collaborative. You might have actually even done a project of some sort together. The best that can be achieved. Ooh, nice, nice card, 10 of coins. The 10 of coins energy is all about the fact that your person feels as though you could be the one that, you know, long term, they're really looking at the relationship to see what the potentials are. The 10 of coins, as you can see, is a family card of legacy. It's a dog that represents loyalty a husband, a wife uh, coming in here with career, children, a beautiful home that's very abundant with coins. The Three of Swords. So in the near future, you have some sort of interference in your relationship. The Ten of Swords, your person is reversing. They're not walking away, but it does look like there is a sense of betrayal, certainly with the Three of Swords, Ten of Swords. For some of you, you could be married to this person, okay? The strength card indicates that, you know, what we're seeing here is the energy that your person wants the relationship to last, Taurus. The Virgo energy, interesting, double Virgo energy. So your person really feels like you have a lot on the ball. They feel very much that, you know, you're, you could be the one because when we look at the Ten of Pentacles and we look at the the nine of pentacles and we look at the eight of pentacles so we have eight nine ten so your person feels as though your relationship could come into alignment but it does look like for many of you uh, there is a third party situation going on here now it can be third party but it can also be separation at a distance it can be somebody who has to take care of family members or somebody who works two jobs somebody that does not have a lot of time for the relationship and we can see the discontent here there's this is nothing but discontent unhappiness this is a pretty unhappy card in terms of how they see themselves in this situation so it does appear that for many of you, your person feels as though they want long-term with you, but they're not thinking that you want long-term with them, Taurus. So interesting energy. We're going to go ahead and clarify the cards for you and see what is going on here with this reading. Why do we have the Four of Swords card? Four of Swords energy, really healing a broken heart, mending, really healing from being alone and feeling abandoned quite a bit here. So it does look like there are some really strong feelings of abandonment. It's also, you know, energies flow both ways. So it also could mean that they feel as though they've abandoned you or let you down. And now, you know, you're unhappy with them and they feel stabbed in the back by you. So that's another way. The cards are very flexible. How we read them is intuitive. Uh, but we have the Ten of Wands here. So the Ten of Wands is clarifying this Four of Swords and Hermit card, okay? So Ten of Wands is really wanting to give up the burden, you know, wanting to let go, not wanting to carry a burden any further. It's a heavy burden. So the heartache and the sadness in this relationship has become a bit overwhelming to your partner. Very much so. No matter whether, you know, even if, say, they're married or you're married, no matter how it flows, your person is hurting. So the Five of Cups energy, what do we have here for the Five of Cups energy? We have King of Swords. So your person's trying to stay cool, calm, and collected. That's Aquarius energy. It shows a lot of maturity. So they're not just a person who 
you know, flies by the seat of their pants, Taurus. This person's pretty grounded here. All right. We have the King of Pentacles. There we go. Looks like it looks as though the two of you can build abundance. It looks like the two of you may have a business together, may have worked together, and that is a very happy and joyful part of what your person loves about you, Taurus, is this beautiful King of Pentacles. That is your energy. So here you are in the reading, and look at all these coins. One, two, three, four, five. That's really a lot of coins, okay? So we also get here the Five of Cups energy is coming into the energy of feeling disappointed that you seem to have something with somebody else. Five of uh, Cups energy is spilt, crying over spilt milk. Look at Five of Cups, Five of Cups. Same energy, sadness. So that's the underlying energy that they have in the reading right now at this time for the relationship. The Hermit card, they feel alone. We have the Hermit card here, right? So we have the Hermit card here. Now we have the Hermit card there. So whoever it is, and you know, feelings can be vice versa, Taurus. This could be you feeling this way up towards your partner, but I'm not reading it that way. Okay, so why do we have the Ten of Swords here reversed? There's not really been a betrayal. However, the Moon card says it feels like betrayal. So your person is really feeling very at risk in this relationship. They're feeling very, very vulnerable, Taurus. They feel as though the shoe could drop and the relationship could be over in a heartbeat, that there's nothing that they can do about it, and that you are not really completely available to them because your heart is with somebody else and or their heart is, you know, their, their life is in a marriage with somebody else and they miss you. All right, so why do we have the Strength card here? The Queen of Swords. So what we're seeing here, Taurus, is your person really is very strong. They can and will walk away if they feel the call or the need to do so. That's what the Queen of Swords does, Libra energy. She walks away from anything that is not in her highest, you know, good. All right, the Sun card, look at that, your person what they really want. The dream that they have for the two of you is this card of great happiness, the sun card, Leo energy, Leo energy, and we have this beautiful nine of pentacles. So your person really loves the way you are, the way you look, the way you present yourself. They feel as though they're delighted whenever they see you. They kind of get this feeling that they're swooning when, they, when you walk into a room and they haven't seen you. They're like, ah! their little heart flutters and you know it's like a movie the little twinkle on the tooth and so now your outcome clarification card we have let's see the eight of swords eight of wands yeah. seven seven of wands okay it's a new deck sorry the crows are i had to look to see if these were swords or wands so this is a seven of wands and basically what we're seeing here is your person is not going to go anywhere they're not leaving the scene they're not they're working on themselves they're building their coin they're trying to build for the future and the seven of wands says that they're there to defend their turf so i don't see them leaving i see them feeling very stuck i feel as though both of you feel very stuck there's sadness around it, but it looks like the two of you, or at least from your partner's perspective, Taurus, it looks like there's a, a great deal of desire and happiness or hope for things that have not yet manifested in the relationship. Let's see what the Moonology deck has for your wisdom, for our beautiful Taurus friends. Okay. Conclusions are within reach. Okay, a full moon eclipse energy. So it really speaks to the fact that emotions are running very high. You're very aware of how you feel. But it's also a good time to really resolve issues and conflicts because it looks like there's a lot that can be done here to make the relationship stronger. And I think most of it's going to be communication. So I'm going to leave it there for you, Taurus. Thanks so much. It was a joy reading for you. Thank you.